This next and last match for you comes to us from BB, who is a Pumid head. Mayor, who has 1.2k hours in the game. So above that area, I expect most people to know their macro sense and their micro sense. Um, fairly well, have their fundamentals down. You're on Shattered Square, which is uh, used to be a very, very tremendously awful killer map, um, but has been made way, way better. They can still spawn some nasty sets, but especially with a character like Pyramid, who has a lot of anti-loop utility, you should be mostly fine. Okay, using double range, as you should. As you should. It's kind of like the main thing you should be running. Uh, I could recommend something else, but I know I, there's no point to, because these are the two best add-ons that you have. So you're doing the right thing here. <laughs> um, you are uh, running a pretty interesting build. Deadlock's fine. Discordance, good info perk. Um, lethal, I am all yours, is kind of like a gimmick on this character. And if you're still learning them, by all means, that's fine. But I always say this with like characters like Pyramid and Nurse is the whole point of getting good with the characters that you don't necessarily need to have wall hacks through the wall to be able to hit your shots. And at a certain point, you need to get good enough with the character that you can make those predictions without physically seeing the character. Um, in a sense, I try to, I, I kind of think of it about like training wheels, right? Like yeah, at a certain point, you got to take the training wheels off. If you don't care about the character that way and you just want to go for some fun shots, like you do you, right? But if you want to get consistently good at like either Nurse or Pyramid or anybody that can get through walls, Lethal, I am all yours, is kind of like a like a noob trap and training wheels you got to take off at some point. So just keep that in mind. Oh, what's this way? Okay, there we go. Kind of going for a shot blindly. Disco dance goes off. Good. Go break them up. So there's this neat thing uh, known as a terror radius. And as you approach a survivor, that terror radius increases in volume. And if they can't hear it, they have the visual indicator that tells them that you are coming. Uh, even with double range, uh, unless you have some sort of undetectable or modern abuse, for example, uh, you're not going to be able to just like sneak up at them and they're not just going to like, unless they're silly, just greed the gen and give you that hit. Um, so the fact that I wasn't going to say anything if you did it once, because I'm like, oh, it, might, it might be fun to see if they stick the gen. Uh, but the fact that you seem to be going for this consistently, you know, is like, you let's like I said, unless you're you have some sort of undetectable or like Terrius affecting perk, I wouldn't really try to go for shots like this very often. It's one of those things that only works on people who aren't paying attention. <laughs> Otherwise, they're just gonna get off early every time. I mean, they have Killer Instinct, why don't you go for a shot? The reason that 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 Pyramid gets Killer Instinct when somebody runs over their trail is because behavior wants you to go for an M2 here. That's why you get the Killer Instinct through the wall. Um, because Killer Instinct cannot be turned off through any survivor perk, at least currently. Um, so you're getting that no matter what. So behavior is wanting you to go for a shot. So the fact that you kind of just like kept Wing at him and didn't really go for a shot there is... It's the stop giving behavior ideas. You know what's coming. There's gonna be a stealth perk that gets rid of Killer Instinct. You know they're gonna do it, and that that chapter's gonna sell like hotcakes. And they're gonna be like, "Oops, sorry," and then nerf it later. I notice you don't really go for shots unless you think they're guaranteed, and a lot of the times they're not actually guaranteed either. Age of Atonement. Stop. Nowhere to hide would be fun there. Go with lethal. Let you line up some spicy shots. Might be something worth trying. I think you're going for predictions, but you don't 
know where the survivors are going, so making these predictions isn't like working out in your favor. You could tunnel them if you wanted. It's five gens, you don't necessarily need to though. Just keep good to keep the minus option. That sucks that miss. I like that. Circumvent the uh the body block just by going for them too. It was risky, but it worked. I'll take the hit and then pick her up. Take the free pressure. Nope, you're gonna chase. Which means the two people that just unhooked over in the corner are just gonna pick her up. Yeah, it's really good. Especially now that DS is rebuffed, Pyramid inadvertently rebuffed himself. Just because, like, he handles that perk so well. I will not be surprised if his pick rate goes back up. I think it's really funny to think about that, like, the entity invited Pyramid into the realm and be like, Hey, take part in my trials! And Pyramid's like, what if I make my own trial? What? Yeah, what if I stick him in my own hooks? I'm gonna call them Cages of Atonement. They're gonna make me happy, not you. But what, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> what do you mean? No, no, I'll still hook him on hook sometimes. But I'm doing my own trial. <laughs> this is not what we agreed on. <laughs> Enjoy your lurk toxin. Appreciate you. Age of atonement. He's my baby boy, man. I, I never thought I would ever hear like the 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 manifestation of a man's guilt embodied in the terror and fear be referred to as quote unquote the baby boy. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's the DVD community, so I guess so. He's just a little guy. What do you mean? I'm going to globally saturate the world in an infectious disease that will bring it to its knees. Who is this crackly little guy? What the fuck? Ooh, you got one. I know you only go for M2s when it's like a confirmed hit. I really try going for like some really spicy and like anti chase M2s. So just only the ones that are confirmed, because that's where Pyramid really excels. He's like an all eggs in one basket kind of character, where like your whole deal is like circumventing chases so quickly that you can then use that time to traverse the map. Whereas otherwise you have no other map mobility to speak of. But your chases are average because you're not really going for M2s unless it's like a trick shot or it's a confirmed situation like that where she's locked into an animation. I know it's scary at first, but, you know, if you want to learn, you want to learn, you know. Hello, hey, Leo. How's it going? Came in during a pyramid match for you. Excellent timing. Hope you're well, The Mackinac to know that there's still people. What? Wow. She greeted that way too long. Way too long. Probably because it was close, so she didn't want to... Are the bugs going? They're like 60% better, actually. Like, I stuttered in Rubber Bandit like 8 or 9 times today, but like, they weren't nearly as severe as before. I haven't got the flicker either that I have the warning up about. But I might take that off by the end of the day, which is uh, a relief. Um, 
Oh, no, there's still a camera bug with Xeomorph. Like this before. Um, probably gonna have to add that to the guide, I imagine. Which sucks. I was getting it on Chucky, though, too, which is weird. Being their shins, it's gonna be their downfall. Just like initially when they were leaving the gens early, you were hitting none of your M2s, but now you are solely based on the fact that they're greeting gens too much now. Switch into a doctor? Oh, that's how oh, that's terrifying. <laughs> Although I will say, while I want no hackers in the game, period, I would rather have that guy than the soft, like the soft cheater. Like that, that that's funny at least. <laughs> at least that's hilarious. I'm having a hard time tracking this person. Like, where'd you go? Where'd you go? You heard him. Should have went towards. Have you heard him? Dun 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 dun. That was good. That was good. Don't feel bad. That was, do that more. It missed, but that was. Do these more. I am. I, I came alive. You guys saw. I was kind of like casually just like, oh, you need to do this more. You need to do this more. Like, do that. I know you missed. But that's the right idea. That is the right idea. Absolutely do that more. The addition of behavior? I mean, it would make sense why, despite the fact that it had a literal health hazard. Oh my god. Pretty much. Uh, a huge health hazard involved that they pushed it through anyway, which is uh, not the right decision, by the way. If you're going to potentially give somebody a seizure, you don't put the patch through. <laughs> but I guess, you know, if you have a, a bunch of, like, ass-kissing fans who are just going to tell you, oh, it, don't be negative about somebody's fucking health, then I guess it's fine. <laughs> I guess you're good. Calculated decision. I was incorrect. You're correct. You're, you're, you're right. I did not foresee the ass-kissing being that fucking strong. My bad. How do I attract the weirdest people to my channel? If I if I make a statement that's like behavior, you done messed up. I get like the biggest like bootlicking turbo basement nerds that I've ever seen in my life who are like, Yo, I don't care if you have a seizure. Uh, don't be mean to behavior. <laughs> like what? And then like if I'm like, oh, well, behavior did a good job with this. And people are like, oh, my God. I remember when you actually used to criticize behavior. It's like, what, where do you fucking people come from? And what side are you on? There should be no sides, but like, how do I get both sides watching my content? I don't fucking get it. <laughs> um, in terms of your main takeaways uh, for your pyramid head match, uh, first main takeaway is I would like to see you go for M2s more. You seem to only go for M2s when you get an aura, an aura perk telling you that you should go th for those things, or if they're in a locked animation. The whole point of Pyramid Head is that Homie does not have map mobility, but he can circumvent Chase so quickly that he saves time to travel across the map. So you should be using your M2 more often to circumvent Chases to make them shorter. That would be great. I think that's in general this other takeaway is like tied to the first one in a sense. But like you really don't like you don't seem to understand that like unless you have an undetectable perk or, or a monitor or abuse or some other terrorist affecting perk, you're not going to be able to sneak up on the survivors. There are multiple times in this match consistently where you're like, okay, I'm going to go up to them because Discordance is on, or I'm going to go up to them uh, because I know they're here because of another perk. And you go for an M2 and it's like, they just misses because like they hear your terriers. They know you're coming. So they are going to move. The only reason that started working later in the match is because multiple gens were like 90. So they wanted to push the rest of the gen out, which so they agreed it longer than they should have. The rest of the match up until that point, they were just getting off early and kind of like carrying you over. So, um, be aware that unless you're running monitor or some other terrorist affecting perk, undetectable perk, you're not going to be able to sneak up on people. So, I would advise to not continue to partake in that playstyle. Um, I thought you did fine. I mean, like it gets down to one gen, but you had people dead fairly early on. Um, yeah, you you, you did fine. Otherwise, it was mostly just like pyramid head specific things. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. You played well for every other case.